Yo guys, what is up? It is Cohen here. Welcome back to episode 4 of WWE 2K20 My Career. Now, before we get into the video, as always, if you do want to enter the post notification shout out, make sure you subscribe, hit the bell, like the video, follow my socials, and share the video and comment once you're done. And yeah, once we've done that, you'll be entered into future videos post notification shout out. But without further ado, we're going to continue our My Career story. Catching up on all times has been great, but we should really get going. Besides, shouldn't we save some of this for our speech later? But we just got through all the boring backstory stuff. It really starts to pick up from here. I'm down for more. Hey, guys. It's so good to see you. Congrats on the Hall of Fame. This is really happening. It's not official yet. We have to actually make it to the building. They're not going to start without you. And even if they did... Some of the speeches are so long, you'd still have plenty of time. Great. We were just telling Pac all about how we got started. Did we cross paths on an indie show early on in your career? We did, at a minor league baseball stadium in Memphis, to be exact. That's right. I knew you had it back then. Trey, not so much. Why does everyone keep still saying that? Shit on Trey. Because you didn't know the difference between a wrist lock and a wrist watch? Speaking of wrist watches, we really should get going. From my experience, this day goes by pretty fast. So you really want to relax and soak in every moment. Lead is right. When I got inducted with DX, everything just flew by. Then let's get back to soaking. Lita, if my memory is correct, you were just in Memphis for an autograph signing, but Red had other plans. So I just want to thank everyone in Memphis for coming out to the show. It's always great to be a part of these smaller events and connect with the people who have supported me for so many years. I'll be available for pictures and autographs starting in a few minutes. Don't be shy. Hold on a second, can we cut the music? Oh, In the Kalina. spirit of not being shy, I have something I want to say. Growing up, I was a huge fan of yours. Facing you in the ring is actually on this list I have. So I know you don't wrestle that much anymore, but I'll always regret this moment if I didn't ask. How about you skip the autograph session and go one on one with me? right now. I don't mean this in a disrespectful way. But who are you? I don't mean this in a disrespectful way. But none of these people would be here paying you 10 bucks an autograph if it wasn't for me working my butt off this past year in Memphis. Look, I get it. You're young and hungry, and you probably think I'm the entitled Hall of Famer who just shows up to cash in on all your hard work. But it's not like that. I'm here to support you and the indie scene. I mean, I used to be you. And by the way, I still didn't get your name. You'll hear the ring announcer say it after I beat you. So you're not backing down, huh? Like I said, you're on my list. I'm sorry, everyone, but I'm going to have to delay this autograph signing until after I win this match. Oh, yeah, baby. Kawina versus Lita. Down goes Lita straight away. We're just going to go for it. Win the match by pinfall submission. I can do that. Okay, this game's got a bit of motion blur on it. It adds a little bit of flavor to the image. Ooh. Leader rolls out of the way. No, that's not good for us. And down goes Leader. Neck breaker. And elbow drop. Off 
off the rope. Spear from Lita into the cover. Is it enough? No. Kawina not down yet. And kick to the gut of Lita. Picking up Lita now. Ooh. Hit detection's awesome in this game. And suplex. No. A little bit different. Elbow. Lita though with a counter. Another spear. She loves her spears. Down goes Kalina. Knee to the back. Ooh. Not looking too well for Kalina right now. Oh, couldn't even reverse. Still am not used to it at all. <laughs> Leader now picking up Kawina. Oh, forearm. And atomic drop. Not atomic drop, whatever that was. <laughs> Jesus, I'm bad. And it's like it's two o'clock in the morning and I've had like no sleep guys so you know just a little heads up Ugh, really good hit detection there we go and lead up with a counter trying to come back and do this match I reckon we've got her on toast here not quite as soon as I say that And off the ropes, Ooh. and down we go. We go skull crushing finale to leader. Is that enough? We're gonna go for the cover off that. One, two, no, not quite. Not quite, says Lita. And Lita. Oh, down we go. And a counter. Here we go. And GTS. From Kalina into the cover. Is it enough to beat a Hall of Famer? Yes, it is. What a huge victory. Good match. Red. Hell yeah. And there is our checklist updated. We wrestled later. I definitely knew Red's to name after that. Trey's opportunity. I was impressed Red was able to keep her composure and talk you into the match. Usually in those situations, she would lose her temper and go into hot. Oh, Ruby. You're I believe his name about is. keeping your composure after what you did that night. Before my match, I have something very important I need to do. I've seen Ribby out here dancing with the kids all night, but I think I've got some pretty sweet moves myself. So, how about Ribby and I find out who's better with the dance off? God, help me. All 
right, I'll go first. Hit me with some music. He's definitely gonna get attacked. Oh, baby. Trey. Look at him go. Okay, Ribby, top that. God. What are we watching, guys? Okay, wait, I was holding back. Let me get another turn. When the dance-off is on this list, I have. I'm not crying. This was fixed. I demand a fair rematch. <sighs> Jerry the King Lola is hey, here. No one wants to see any more of your terrible dance moves. What they want to see is me kicking your ass. I mean, what kind of stupid name is Trey anyway? I think a better name would be Crossword because you enter the ring vertically and you leave horizontally. <laughs> I mean, with a name like that, your parents must be the type of people who when you look into their eyes, you see the back of their heads. <laughs> you can say whatever you want about me, but don't talk about my parents. <laughs> What's the matter? You should be proud of them. Because I heard they created more tragedies than Shakespeare. <laughs> Did you come out here to dust off every one of your dated one-liners? Or do you want to have a match? Look, I'm just trying to entertain these people after your awful dancing. I mean, I've seen better moves in a blind chess match. <laughs> if you want to entertain them so bad, then how about we give them a match they weren't expecting? Well, if you keep boring everyone, pretty soon we're going to have an empty arena match. <laughs> I was thinking something more along the lines of no DQ. You know what? I'll take that and I'll do you one better. I know you've only been in Memphis for about a year, but I think everyone will agree that's a year too long. So how about we make this a no DQ, loser leave town match? Come on, Crossword. What do you say? It's fitting your last match in Memphis is going to be in a baseball stadium because you just made the biggest error of your life. Oh, come on. That was just as good, if not better, than one of his lame jokes. Oh, shut up, Ribby. After I send Lawler packing, I'm going to eat you for dinner. All right. Let's do this, crossword. 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 Here we go, one-on-one -on -one with Jerry the King Lawler. Oh, damn. Down goes Jerry. Counter from the king, and that is not a good start for us. I can't believe this is now a loser leaves town match. If Jerry Lawler ends up having to leave Memphis, the city will go into a down goes Jerry. Emotionally speaking, economically speaking, we probably feel like we're not going to get the victory here, but hey, we'll do our best, that's for certain. Down we go. Jerry the King, Lola has still got it, baby. Look at him go. Not so fast, though. And belly to belly. Oh, 
Now what can we do? Down we go. I'm curious if it's not win by pinfall submission that's complete the match. So I don't know if it's like one of those alternate things where it's like whether we win or lose sort of thing. I don't know. Anyway. I'm here. About to make, about to beat Jerry the King of Lola because I'm just that damn good. Make him leave town. Oh, huge forearm. He ran right into that one, my friends. Alright, Jerry, get up. And backstabber. I'm gonna go for the cover off that. Because I think that's resiliency. I don't know the logos yet. If it was resiliency, he didn't use it. I think it's resiliency as his payback. So, for example, when we do this. Oh my god, of course he reverses my finisher. And, ooh. Up to a second rope we go. Oh, oh! I did not see that coming. From the second rope. Ooh, another forearm. Jerry the King Roller not having a good day. Keeps running straight into these forearms. And a counter from Jerry. Ooh, neck breaker. What's he doing now? Is he trying to go for the cover? Oh, ooh. He's going off. Hey. Oh, so it's an ODQ. I forgot it was an ODQ. Come on. Ladder. Oh, interesting. And a loop that is press from the king. Oh, Jerry the King will try and hit his finish up, but now we're going to get ours. Omega Driver into the cover. I think he's got resiliency though. We'll find out, I guess. Yep, resiliency. Damn it. Not very good. And a ladder. No. Oh, Jerry the King. Oh, we're just stuck. Ugh. There we go. There we go. Into Gary. How? Every time. Damn, guys, Jerry. Now we're picking up the king. What can we do with him here? Gonna throw him into a turnbuckle now. In he goes. And now German suplex just clipping the ladder. Jerry gets out. What a match we've had so far. And knee. And elbow, ooh, that took him, to his head right off. Down we go. Oh, 
Come on, Jerry, roll out of the way, mate. I don't want you to reverse my signature. Now you roll out of the way, of course, when you've got two reversals, you cheeky bugger. Come on, I'm trying to drain that reversal, baby. They, yeah, they don't fall for this as much as easy as they do in the previous game, which is a good thing. But for times like this, it's kind of annoying. Watch this, he'll use it now. Oh, not quite soon. There we go, he uses one. Four, um, we're gonna get this. So we hit this finish and it's over. Actually, you've got resiliency. Oh, he's gonna have resiliency. You know, I'm just gonna use it. Hopefully, he doesn't. Nope, doesn't counter. He doesn't have resiliency. He must have used one of his other abilities. Anyway, into the cover we go. One. Please don't kick out. Good boy. And we win. so nice oh, wow Ribby with a low blow to Trey look I'm glad you won I mean you beat a legend a WWE Hall of Famer and that's huge but you were out there playing with our careers just because you were too worried about a stupid dance-off. Which allowed Lawler to get in your head. I'm sorry I let King bait me into that match. Just, he was saying stuff about my parents and I lost my cool. You should get that. Believe me, I do. But that's what Lawler does. He's made an entire career out of it. He had no idea you are adopted. Good thing. I'm sure he would have had a field day with that. Let's just move on from this. Apology accepted, okay? What would have happened if I lost? Would you have stayed here in Memphis without me? No. We're a package deal. Wherever you go, I go. But I'm glad that didn't happen. I'm having too much fun here. I mean, I just beat Lita. <laughs> I know, tonight was crazy. Do we have beat two Hall of Famers in one night on our list? If not, we should add it. Hey, good match, kid. I didn't know what to expect after you lost to a giant rib in a dance-off, but... You really brought it when it mattered. Thanks. Sorry you have to leave Memphis now. I know you're a legend here, so that's got to be tough. Are you kidding? I'm not going anywhere. Do you know how many loser leave town matches I've lost in Memphis over the years? Huh. Well, not that many, actually. But still, that wasn't official. We never signed anything, did we? Uh, no, I, I guess not. Well, then there's your answer. Hey, you two have dinner plans? No, why? Well, you should stop by my restaurant. We have really good ribs. <laughs> Alrighty, guys, and that's going to be the end of this episode of my career. If you did enjoy, please sure to smash the like button. Make sure you do subscribe, hit the bell, follow my socials down below, and comment once you're done to enter the post notification shout out. Thank you guys so much. Make sure you like as well and tell me anything you want me to do to improve these videos. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you guys all later. Saga!